Michelangelo Maurice de Caravaggio was a Baroque painter and possibly the greatest artistic giant of his time. The Baroque period was a movement of art in the 17th century characterized by its realism, grandeur, and appeal to emotions. Some of the most notable artists of this period are Gian Lorenzo Bernini, Artemisia Gentileschi, Peter Paul Rubens, and George de la Torre. Michelangelo Marisi was born in the town of Caravaggio, whose name he would eventually take as his professional title. He was orphaned when he was 11 and was apprenticed in Milan to the artist Simone Pirzano. He then went to Rome to work for the Mannerist artist called Giuseppe Cesari. He ran into much difficulty in Rome, where his social life was turbulent at best and was complete and utter insanity at worst. Finally, though, he managed to work his way to success. His earlier paintings tended to be genre paintings depicting everyday scenes from life. In these paintings, he often toyed with the themes of life and death. For example, in his painting, The Lute Player, we see a young man playing a song, but the point of the painting isn't the boy's youth. Everything in the scene will die. The boy has a sadness about him, as if aware of his own mortality. His beauty will fade, the song will end, the fruit will rot, and the flowers will wilt. Caravaggio was outrageous during his time for his use of common people as models and common settings for his scenes, even in his religious ones. This can also be seen in his mythological paintings. In Sig Bacchus, we don't see a divine being. Instead of a merry youth, we see the god of wine with a queasy expression, a slightly green complexion, and a killer hangover. Caravaggio, unlike other artists of his time, wasn't trying to make humans seem divine. He was just trying to make the divine- Caravaggio stepped into fame with his commission to paint for the Cantarelli Chapel. The most famous of these paintings is The Calling of St. Matthew, which depicts Jesus calling Matthew to his service. This painting is most noted for two aspects, its ordinary setting and characters in modern dress and the use of chiaroscuro, or the dramatic contrast of light and dark. Instead of saintly figures and robes, Caravaggio's people were very human and easily relatable to the common person. Many people found this irreverent, but he considered it a work of complete piety, an attempt to make religious figures understandable. What is odd about this scene is the use of light. Instead of highlighting Jesus' face, it's his hand that is thrown into relief. Caravaggio used this light to highlight the action taking place. Jesus' is choosing of Matthew. In 1606, Caravaggio lost a tennis match and started a brawl with his opponent. When he ended up killing his opponent, he had to flee for his life. He found refuge in Naples where he painted his famous David and Goliath. His head being held in David's hand was a cry of his own guilt for killing. Caravaggio was accepting the Knights of St. John of Jerusalem on the terms that he did a few paintings for them. His knighthood didn't last long, though. He was thrown to jail for insulting a fellow knight and was forced to escape and go on the run yet again. He was eventually absolved of the murder by Cardinal Gonzaga in 1610 and allowed to return to Rome. On his trip back, he was arrested in Tuscany. When he managed to escape prison a few days later, he died of malaria as he tried to catch his ship. Caravaggio's major contribution to art was his heavy use of chiaroscuro in his paintings. This style is known as tenebrism, and his work influenced many other artists, especially Artemisia Gentileschi.